Hey, I'm Paul Walker. Welcome to the set of Fast and the Furious 2, where I'm driving and you're not. I was glad to come back. I think I think mainly just because I knew that you know the fans wanted to see it. And this one is basically Brian O'Connor's getting back to his roots. His roots being his childhood with Roman Pierce, Tyrese Gibson's character. Listen, all you gotta do is come to Miami and drive with me. It's kind of a cool setup. We're like brothers in this movie, basically. That's my boy right here. That's my dad. To get me and him on camera together is a great combination because we're from two different worlds, but yet we're perfect on camera together. I just think it's a great balance. Watch out, girl, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Brian O'Connor, Roman Pierce, meet Monica Fuentes. Monica Fuentes is a handful. She, um, she's an undercover cop who's gone way in over her head. Then comes along Paul Walker's character, Brian, and he doesn't make things any more simple. He actually makes them more complicated. It's another one of those situations where, gosh, this girl's so drop-dead gorgeous, and I know I shouldn't get involved with her, but I just can't resist. Keep your eyes on the road, cowboy. You guys, gonna, at the end of the shot, you're gonna walk that way. We really want to raise the bar of, of what the people within this world, this car culture world, were interested in seeing. <laughs> It's a whole big scene, you know what I mean, all around. And this car culture is like, it crosses all kinds of boundaries. There's different ethnic groups. Everybody's into this. In the first Fast and the Furious, the cars we had were more, I guess, practical cars. But uh, in this one, we went for more exotic. <laughs> We have a Nissan Skyline R34, which isn't even available in the States. We have an Evolution 7 that we're using, made by Mitsubishi, which is cool. You got the, the modern, the new stuff, and then you got the classics that got its own little feeling to it. Go! The race sequences are just, they're awesome. I mean, it's some mind-blowing stuff. I think this one is definitely a little more detailed when it comes to street racing. What's his deal? I got a problem with authority. I think the difference between driving in this one as opposed to the last one is that uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more driving. John's like, you know what, no ifs, ands, or buts. The bottom line is to get the coolest shots, you gotta be behind the wheel. I like to push people to their limits of what they can do. I don't really have any qualms with that. Don't even think about taking the convertible. I love my car from, from head to toe. I was made for this, bruh. There's a new appreciation for cars that look like that. Look at those rims. Ooh, ooh -wee. I can see that parked in my driveway, and I can see why those cars are so respected. They wanted it in a different place. They wanted a different setting, so they wanted another cool city, and so they went from Miami. Girl, where you going? Miami, Miami. Miami has a lot of energy, and it just has a really good vibe. Miami. Filming this film out here, and all of these women out here, it's just uh, Van Glorious. <laughs> I want people to be in the theater and just and moving with the cars and feel the electricity that's coming from what's happening on the screen. You know, it's like, bam. Every day is an adventure, you know what I mean? No two day on the set is the same. Rarely do you have the luxury of going into a movie that you know people want to see. All the variables are in place, it's like it's got to hit. We got cars, like, jumping over cars. Come on, come on. And uh, shootouts. 
This one's gonna be larger and better than the first one. There's no question. Click, click, boom. 